Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. And anytime we encounter the presence of God, there is a special aroma that the Lord will announce to the, darkness, the kingdom of darkness. That aroma will make the enemy know that our king is alive. <laughs> hey, hey. I said there is an aroma that is leaving this place, visiting the camps of the enemy. Because when God is done with you and I this weekend, I tell you, the very things that were chasing you before, oh my God, I said the very things that were chasing you before, they will see you and they will flee. Because the power of God will be so strong upon your life. And he shall receive power. The enemy is so much afraid. When we gather like this and we seek the face of God to empower us for our journey as Christians. He is always not happy. Can I tell you something? There is a corporate anointing that is at work in this place. And I tell you by this anointing, something will break out of your life. I said strength will come out of your life. You shall walk in power. Say to your neighbor, you shall walk in power. Please take your seat. Hi, Abos. Oh my God. I am so excited tonight. Somewhere last year around September, if I'm not mistaken, I think August, the Lord, by the leading of the Spirit, will impress upon our hearts to converge together in a meeting themed the Power Conference. And when we had this leading, we were contemplating what God really meant by the Power Conference. And one of the things the Lord said to us is that as Christians, as believers, power is supposed to be our daily life. We are supposed to manifest the power of God daily. Daily. When I say daily, daily because the Bible said the enemy that we are contending with does not sleep nor eat. He will not sleep, he will not rest until somebody falls. But can I tell you something? You will need power to be able to confront the enemy and the powers of darkness. So that when they show up at your vicinity, at your territory, it will not be your home. It will not be your door. Because when they get to your door, they will know there is something in this house. And by that reason, they have no option than to do what? To pass over. When the enemy comes and finds out that <laughs> there is nothing in you. After you have received the Holy Spirit. Did you hear the words of the master? He said, ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost comes upon you. I know for sure that many of us have received the Holy Ghost. True or false? But my question to you is that, are you walking in power? <laughs> you don't know what it means. When you need to confront the powers of darkness at night. And there is nothing in you. David appeared. And when Goliath saw him, he saw him as a small boy. He saw him as, who is this? But he never knew that there was something in him. And that thing that was in him manifested. And after Goliath fell, the rest of the army had to run away. Let me tell you, you need to be a terror in your territory. If you have not yet come to that point of being a terror in your territory, then this conference is for you. Do you realize how David will show up in the battlefield? And he was so bold because he knew what he carried. My question to you is that, are you bold enough to stand before the devil? For some of you, when somebody threatens you, I will kill you tomorrow. The first thing you do is you carry your phone, you are calling pastor. Hey, let me tell you, <laughs> the day you call your pastor, and you hear that beautiful lady's voice. The number you are calling is out of coverage area. 
please check and dial again. That is where you know that reality has done on you. Yes. I was listening to our father in the Lord when he encountered a demon in the form of a bird. The Bible said, sorry, he said, the Lord said to him, if you fear, you will die. Men that carry power, fear would automatically disappear from your life. I'm telling you. Like David, he appeared. And when he appeared, he said, he knew that he was going to deal with Goliath. So the first thing he said, what was going to be done for the man that brings Goliath down? My question to you is that, are you bold enough to speak like that? That when there's a witch, there's a wizard, there's an occult in your family, and everybody is afraid, everybody is running away. My question to you is that, will you be able to stand? The Bible said, the book of Acts chapter 6, when he came to assignments, even in the kingdom, the Lord fell on the one that carried the Holy Ghost. The one that manifested the power of God. Even just to sell food, food, food. The Bible said he did great wonders. Give me Acts chapter 6. He did great wonders just to serve tables. The reason why many things are not brewing out of your life, coming out of your life for men to see what God has made you of, is because there is not power. There is no power. I am so much eager. I am so hungry for power. Because in this life, there's a contest of power. Demons are fighting to win some. And the angels of God are also warring to deliver. That is the contest of power I'm talking about. The day you lose that ability, that is the end of you. So when you find a demon, Fasting for seven days, seven nights. All because he wants to destroy somebody. What do you think he's fasting for? <laughs> the Bible said then the twelve called the multitude of disciples unto them and said, it is no reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Let's move on. I want to show you something. Mm. Wherefore, brethren, look ye among you seven men of honest report, full of what? The Holy Ghost and what? Wisdom. That was basic. So in order for you to choose a leader, somebody to lead, this one, he was going to serve what? Tables. Food, 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 food. The criteria or the requirement was that that person must be full of what? The Holy Ghost and must be full of what? Wisdom. Whom we may appoint over this what? business let's move on i want to show you something but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word verse 5 it says and the same priest the whole multitude and they chose who stephen a man full of what faith and of the word holy ghost and philip now go to verse 8 i'll show you something let's take note of the word word faith and of what holy ghost now the holy ghost that stephen received translated into power in verse 8 the bible said and Stephen, full of faith and what power did what great wonders and miracles among the people so if something is going to come out of your life if you are going to amount to something i tell you power is essential you are selling in the market and you wake up in the morning you get to your shop and you have poor something i the one who called me the other day that they had planted something, put some charms and all that at the office. I was so angry in my spirit, but I said it was not my fight. <laughs> I like those kind of fights. One day, man of God, I visited a colleague pastor, a pastor. And the wife had put to bed and the baby was dying. The baby was dying. The baby could not feed. And the baby was growing little, lean and lean and lean. And the pastor's mother-in-law came to the house with a pot. There was pepper. There was some herbs. There was some eggs and other things. And brought to the pastor's house. Because you know, the pastor thought he had prayed and prayed and nothing is happening. The baby is dying. So the woman brought this pot with all these concussions and placed it at the garden of where the pastor lives. And told the wife that anytime you wake up in the morning, 
Take some of this concussion and smear it over your what? Over your breast. When the baby sucks your breast, the baby will be fine. That was the instruction. That was the aquantere that came from the mother-in-law. And things grew from bad to worse. And then my brother called me. When he called me, I called another pastor. I said, let us go. We got to the house. I said, what is happening? He began to narrate the things that had gone on in the house. I said, what is this? He said, pastor, don't touch it. I said, I shouldn't touch what? What is this? We entered the garden. We didn't waste time. We carried the pot. Destroyed everything. And the pastor was shivering. He said, pastor, this thing that you have done, are you sure nothing will happen? He said, nothing will happen. <laughs> we destroyed everything and we exercised your authority in the name of Jesus. And we made declarations in the name of Jesus. And the baby came back to normal. Some of you, there are things in your family that after this conference, God will demand of you to destroy. Yes. Yes. God has brought you here to make you bold, to empower you, to give you an ability beyond your strength. And when that ability comes upon your life, every man will know, as Jesus said, he said, when you receive the Holy Ghost, power will come upon you and ye shall be what? Witnesses what? Unto me. When power comes upon your life, when you walk in power, men will see what God has made you. So the Bible said, Stephen did great wonders and miracles among the people because he was full of faith and what? Power. Now, let's go to Jesus. The Bible said, when Peter had the opportunity to address the multitude, after Cornelius' vision, the Bible said, Peter, in the book of Acts chapter 10, the Bible said, he began to give the lectures. And he was talking about how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with what? Power. Who went about doing good and healing all that was what? Oppressed of the devil. So in other words, we could therefore link that scripture, that verse of scripture to what we are seeing in Acts chapter 6. You cannot do great wonders. You cannot do miracles. Your life will not be a testimony. If you don't walk in power. Because what you are looking for, somebody is also eyeing it. I was telling a young man of how, if you are not careful to develop yourself in the spirit, to be strong and carry something, somebody will carry your wife. And that is what is happening. Many of the young men, people that have gone to places, are using charms and all kinds of things. So your future wife that you marry, if you don't rise up, somebody has already used a charm somewhere. You are looking at me. <laughs> hey, 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 what I'm telling you is very real. Because I've seen it before. A herbalist shows up and says that, Pastor, I thought this is your pa pa uh, pastoral ministry that you have. There is nothing. No. I want to prove to you that you carry nothing. So I want your wife. <laughs> See, if you allow me, I will tell you stories. See, you cannot carry power with this. That when you wake up in the morning, then you do this. No. And I will tell you how power can rub on you and you can walk in power by association. And that is why God has sent an apostle away who carries power. Yes. They are men that are engines that moves huge vehicles. And one of such men is what we have tonight in our midst. Yes. Yes. He is an engine of the remnant family. 
you cannot take it away from him. You think Aussie and Ghana would be bet without men like apostle? No. These were the men that labored. They labored with our father in the law. And they saw this day. They saw this time. And we thank God that they are seeing the manifestation of their labors. And they are men that contended with the forces of darkness. When Satan said, no, it is not possible. They rose up and said, how dare you? Like David will say to Goliath, who are you, this uncircumcised Philistine, to divide the armies of our God? When God is set out to do something, who are you? One of the things the Lord said to me in this conference, some of you are going to receive power to make wealth. And he took me to the book of Deuteronomy. Don't be excited until you walk in it. That's your amen. That's not mean <laughs> that you are walking in it. Too. I don't know how hungry you are determines how much you can what? Take. It's a contest of power. Hey. Why is it that when somebody says, I'm going to Volta Region and come there, everybody is shaking? What is in Volta Region? When you say you are leaving it to your God, you are not afraid. But when you say you are going to, you are going to the north, you are going to Volta Region and come, then everybody is afraid. You know why? Because there is something there. True of us. There is something in the north. There is something in Volta region. But I came to announce to you that there is something in the remnant family. Yeah. <laughs> there is something more in this house. Because the God of this commission made it available way before time. Way before we arrived and came together as a family. And everything you see us do Oh my God. It's not by chance. Tonight I came to tell you. If your heart is right. If you are thirsty. You can drink from the wells of this power. In the name of Jesus. And I declare tonight. Let it happen to somebody. In the name of Jesus. He said it is he that giveth power. To make wealth. Making wealth is not easy. It comes by power. And the giver of power is what we have come to seek this weekend. And as he will speak to us, he will send forth his, his servant, his messenger. And tonight, I am so excited. Can you join me as we celebrate the goodness of God? <laughs>